So what we're going to be talking about first is Hogwarts Legacy. We did just do a video and a podcast earlier about it, talking about if you stream this, does it equal trans hate? In that video, we did say no. And there was a lot of reasons why. There are some good explanations that I believe we used and also some just good metaphors that I that we used or illustrations, I would say, that we used to kind of help tie that point. That wasn't a bash towards anything. Video is actually doing pretty well on YouTube and I appreciate some of the comments that are already on there. And again, none of that was to condemn anybody. It's just allowing people to have a basically an opinion. Now, Hogwarts Legacy is literally right around the corner. It's about to come out. I've already been in a couple of streamers chats that are really excited and talking about playing it and talking about getting into and diving deep into the game and you know what house are you going to reside in and all this other fun jazz, right? That's a real thing that's that's happening right now. But as I was looking today and sitting there like, man, we need to talk about stuff. These articles pop up. We use Dexterto to talk about these articles, but something very interesting popped up on Dexterto that I'd love to chat about. As we can see here, ooh, I have a lot more freedom than I needed to. Awesome. So we can see here, anti-Hogwarts legacy site. Anti-Hogwarts legacy site shows if a Twitch streamer has streamed the game. <laughs> now that's pretty huge. A lot of backlash is, is here. There, people are about to get canceled like no tomorrow. I don't understand necessarily why people are going to this extreme, but there's a site basically called how they stream that wizard game. It's literally a site specifically for Hogwarts legacy. I'm not sure. Haven't used it. Haven't went to go look at it. And obviously if you probably typed in a name right now, it wouldn't really show you much. We do have Sam Gibbs and we might bring up some tweets. We might not of some people that aren't part of this article expressing some of their opinions. I know the last article we talked about Jared FPS giving his two cents about the Hogwarts Legacy game and how we were exactly just almost advise. Well, I wouldn't say almost. We were advising out of that position is that I don't believe if you play this game again, anything is going to be funded towards trans hate. What people don't realize is big corporations like this, right, that are making games, they're licensing the content. But that doesn't mean that the corporation that built this, which is the Hogwarts Legacy game, I think it's Pocket Key, is specifically supporting trans hate. It's a licensing deal that they bought to be able to use things like the Harry Potter series to create a game similar to Lucasfilm and Star Wars of the Fallen Order with EA. There's a lot of things that go around like that. I don't believe that that means exactly that you absolutely are for trans hate and whatever. Because again, we've talked about it briefly in the other one, but if I'm sitting here buying Elgato products, doesn't mean that I 100% affirm everything Elgato does. It doesn't mean that I have those same viewpoints the company does, but I, I am buying their products, right? But I'm not buying it with the intention of supporting their abuse. We also talked about methods when you support people, and there is times where you do purchase things or you are involved in certain areas talking about those specific views, right? We did examples like the rainforest or helping homeless people. Tom's giving shoes for every shoe you buy, they give a shoe away, right? There's causes like that. There's also causes where people don't genuinely support, you know, right, left, or middle politics. People find that. And if you're doing it for that sense, then I would say, yes, you are supporting it for those certain reasons. So it just, I think it's one, it's a case by case basis, but two, the majority of the people that are streaming this, they're not supporting trans hate. I will, I would, I, I don't know the statistic. I can't sit there and be 100% about that. But if I had a leaning, I'm like 95% sure that everybody that's going to stream Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out is not going to be against anti-transgenderism. Now, this is pretty extreme. Somebody did create this. Have they streamed that wizard game? Find out if any one of you, if anyone you follow on Twitch has streamed that new wizard game. This is also intending that when Hogwarts Legacy's release expect a ton of backlash if you're a streamer if you're a content creator just expect it here's a comment of why i would say that this person kobe don't know says thank you for this i don't feel comfortable with people who support this game and i do not want to support people who don't value my trans friends and family i think this is a very 
massive extreme one one side of the argument right this is very on one side that if you buy this game you are saying that you hate everybody underneath the spectrum right there is a massive side behind this then there's the other side where you're not and people can't find a good medium here someone made a site to see if your favorite twitch streamer has streamed hogwarts legacy i guess the goal is to boycott said streamer if they do play the game and this person michael legacy killer hd saying it's getting a little bit ridiculous i would agree i would say it's a little bit out of proportion it's being blown out of proportion this is genuinely it's almost political i know some people are like why is this political it's a political thing anything that has to do with certain social topics like this cultural social topics like this it's a political game at the end of the day people are going to be double downing on this a hundred percent people are going to be losing their livelihood because of this 100 percent. i don't agree with that though see the retaliation here i don't think is the answer in general you can't be mad at somebody right and saying hey they're retaliating against our gender and then on top of that retaliate against people who even just care about this said genre for none of the reasons that the person, which is JK Rowling has mentioned on this. I am not sitting here saying, Hey, you should stream Hogwarts legacy. But what I am sitting here saying is if somebody's streaming Hogwarts legacy, we got to genuinely consider that most people aren't streaming it with the intention to hurt the transgender community, to hurt the LGBTQA plus community. We have to be honest with ourselves, like in genuine, in genuosity, how many people are really out there trying to do that? I'm not saying that there's no people, out, there's like none, nobody in the United States, nobody in the world is trying to hurt this community. That's not what I'm saying. That's false. People hurt, people hurt people, hurt people, hurt people. We've all heard that saying before. People hurt me over my faith. I'm, I'm Christian by, by faith, so people will hurt me because of my faith. That's that's literally happens. I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm not assuming every single person I've ever made a con like a, a connection with is hurting me because of my faith or will hurt me because of my faith. Again, I have a lot of people in this community that I know and I appreciate and I love them and they know that. And I'm not here. Even if I was to stream it, I know that they would know from my heart. I'm not even going to be streaming it for that aspect because I'm not buying the game on the purpose, on the bias of, hey, I hate so-and-so, so that. Again, also knowing in the business perspective, it's a licensing deal. That is completely different. JK Rowling, whatever her firms are, already picked up, they already collected the money a long time ago. A long time ago. It's not like, yo, as this game keeps purchased, unless they have perpetuity, unless they have something there where they're getting an X amount of royalties from the game then yes but even then even then i know people uh one of my comments on my youtube channel or the youtube video that we posted was saying that she's kind of the face of anti-transgenderism again we're just trying to see the best in everybody not just her before somebody's like yo i'm pro this or whatever no we're just i, I want to see the best in everybody and i think we need to get back to a point where we can see the best in people I think that's a great place to start at, even to have conversations with. If you disagree with somebody, it's a great place to at least assume the best and let somebody hear, like, hear them out, all right? Uh, I know that I was talking to a good friend of mine about this topic offline. I'm not going to say his name because his opinion, like, he, he doesn't want to put that opinion forward, but he has mentioned things as in some people will just react because you're being canceled, because you're being attacked for having an opinion and i believe i mean just like anybody if you put yourself in your shoes all right put yourself at this platform and in their shoes and just have the weight of the world come and absolutely destroy you and some things that i didn't know right were that um which it's kind of a kind of a weird mix up i know they're separate i'm not sitting here saying it's the same thing but i know they're separate but I know that also like Harry Potter movies and the Harry Potter series has strongly supported the LGBTQ community for a while. That's what I've been told from some like diehard Harry Potter fans. Uh, from And this is just me personal, like just independent research. And so it makes it to me as outside looking in really not be like I didn't this didn't come up on my radar until I realized like I have friends that are going to be hurt by this. And so this is why we're talking about it and creating a conversation about it. And I'm like, yo, this is uh, 
I, I think we're on way too far of an extreme. I think we have to kind of narrow it down and sit there and say like, hey, really, who is it? Who isn't? Um, and be kind of realistic, right? Not every purchase that everybody that purchases it is going to go towards such and such person. But on top of that, I would genuinely be surprised if there's an organization that she, that JK Rowling started that's for anti-transgenderism. I'm, I'm sitting here like, I'm just, I'm really trying to captivate and sitting here like what could possibly happen? Like, it's just the, the idea of that is very far fetched to me. It, it's not even in public news. I even searched that idea up like, Hey, did it? There's nothing like that. It's just the story of her having some strong disagreements towards the transgender community. And that's a real thing, right? People, again, you guys can have, everybody has their own opinion, but that that doesn't mean that there's an actual organization where your money's going and funding this uh, movement. Like if there is a movement that she's creating, no, it's just an opinion. And I I don't know anything else has been said, but in, in my sense, like outside looking in face value and it's just an opinion to me like, whoa, okay. Do you have, you have a strong stance on what you believe in? Awesome. You know, that's you, uh, whether you just like anybody, anybody here can just take that and agree and disagree and move on with their life. But I think going to the point of actually hurting other people, people who are not intending again, everybody that will be streaming Hogwarts legacy when it comes out, I guarantee at least. No, I know because early I just said this early in the podcast, like maybe, but yeah, I do want to say I guarantee probably 95% of the people on there are not going to be streaming with that. There is going to be 5% of people with different views and that are going to be here and like almost try to downcast in the community, like, hey, you guys are stupid, blah, blah, blah. And I could see that happening. It happens all, you know, it happens all the time. Somebody has a disagreement, they go on and they and they're trying to defend it, and and it just it's being defended in the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? I think that right now, like how I said, we're, we're just trying to, no con, no condemnation in this, no anything, just, hey, let's, can we just be real? And if we can just be real, I do believe this is being a little bit too into the extreme. Um, I don't agree with, there is a group, there is a solid portion of people that are being affected. Uh, I don't agree with the idea that, hey, because this person said something wrong and harassed us, therefore we can harass every single person that will be playing this game. I I don't think that's also a good look either. Like if you're trying to really figure out a good median and sit there and uh, basically have people support the side of your party, right? I don't think it's a good standpoint to base it off of harassment. It's not like I'm hitting you because you hit me. That's really like an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. We've never solved anything like that. That there's a, there's a reason like that, right? And there's scars that are left behind from old ways of solving issues like that. I don't think that's the answer. And that's what I would say for my transgender folk. If you're in this as well, if this is something that's super sensitive and super or like, hey, I'm on this extreme, I would just ask like, hey, can can we come to an agreement or can we find a middle ground? Because I don't think that's the answer. I think that you guys can articulate, hey, I'm hurt and this is not okay. Awesome. But I don't think that, hey, hurting innocent people that genuinely are not purchasing the game, one, for the idea or the ideal of anti-transgenderism to trying to fund that like again we used uh fp or jared fps's response in our last video as an example most people have some type of sentimental thing with this series as anybody it's like one of those things jared proposed to his wife at the universal studios harry potter her portion of the universal studios that's not a horrible thing to want to play this game because there's already a a uh, sentimental value for this person, right? And most people, either it's a childhood thing. We all have the childhood nostalgia and stuff, but not very many people genuinely chat and everybody that's listening right now are doing it because of something like indicatively bad. It's more so people are just buying it to play a game at the end of the day. That's it. And uh, I don't, I don't agree with this. So I, I don't agree with the aspect of like, hey, let's go cancel people. I don't can't I don't agree with cancel culture in general, but in in this specific space, I don't think it's genuinely fair at all because this literally means people's livelihoods are on the line just because they're playing something out of innocence versus playing it out of hatred. And that's that's like I think where we should draw I think that's how we should approach the situation in general if, if you're in the transgender community if if you should really figure out like hey 
is this person playing it out of hatred or are they playing it out of, you know, just because it's the game or it's nostalgic or they think it's going to be a good game. It looks great. There's a lot of time, a lot of resources invested into this game. Everybody's been looking to be out of this stale section of gaming right now. We've been in a funk of years where there hasn't been a great game to play. Hogwarts Legacy looks like a great game. I wouldn't blame people's ideas for thinking that, right? Um, I know, again, there is offense and I know there is hurt, but I don't believe that, hey, let's meet harassment with harassment. L let's not get into this barbaric, I'm going to fight, stab, and kill people to get to that point, You're right? We, we need to be... Uh, we need to be more loving. We need to be more understanding. We genuinely just need to find that middle ground for people. And I, again, I don't think the extremist is the middle ground at all. What's going on, guys? If you guys enjoyed the content, head over to our Patreon, where you can unlock the full conversation and have exclusive access to every single podcast that we recorded live for only $5 a month. On top of that, get yourself some nice discounts for Chiching Apparel, which is our merch shop. On top of that, you guys get an exclusive Patreon member only section unlocked in our Discord. With your guys' support, you help us continue being able to redefine value for human impact and get content like this in front of individuals who need it the most. As well, you help us be able to encourage every single person to work on their physical health, mental health, relational health, spiritual health, and financial health. I appreciate the support, guys. I'll catch you on my next one.